Hi, this is Damon Tennant with the Get Your GED Now Test Preparation Series coming to you today with another free mini GED class lesson. Okay, so again, these are coming to your email every week to give you just a little bit of lesson. Now, the big focus that we're going to be doing on these lessons is always going to be math because math is the universal Achilles heel of most students who are preparing for the GED test. We are going to do some other subjects, though. We're going to do some writing things. We're going to do some reading things. Uh, and we're going to do uh, also some uh, uh, breaking down those short answers that you need to do on the science test. But for right now, let's keep on going with the math because that's what most people need help with. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read a question to you. And this question is just coming out of my Get Your GED Now Test Preparation Series book. Um, Renee ordered a balloon in the shape of a soda can. At full inflation, the balloon will stand at 13 feet and measure eight feet across. How many cubic inches of helium would she need to fill this balloon? Okay, so the first thing we wanna do here is we wanna just kinda draw this soda can and excuse my drawing, I'm not that great of an artist, okay? And so we have this picture of a soda can and you know, it's you know, like if you've ever seen a Coke balloon or something like that in the shape of a Coke can, this is what we're talking about here. And then the information in the problem tells us that this uh, inflated is 13 feet tall at full inflation and that it's eight feet across. So I'm just gonna draw an arrow there so we can see the across of this thing or the diameter of this thing is eight. Now. The other thing we need to know is, well, what kind of shape is this? Well, this is a cylinder. And so we need to know that the uh, formula for the volume of a cylinder is pi times r squared times height. Okay? And so we know that pi is a mathematical number and it's always 3.14. So all we have to do now is plug in 3.14 for pi. Now, we have to find out what's the radius. Well, we know the diameter of a circle is eight, and we know that the radius is half the diameter. So what's half of eight? Of course, it's four. Now, if you didn't know that, now you know it, and that's the point of doing these free GED mini lessons, so you can get some information that you need to pass this test. So half the diameter is the radius, so we're gonna put a little dot there and there, and a little arrow there, so four feet is the radius, and eight feet is the diameter, but for this particular problem, we're looking for the radius, so we're gonna choose this one here, four feet for the radius. So we're gonna put in a multiplication sign, so we remember what we're doing, and we're gonna go ahead and put four squared, okay? And then the height, what's the height? Well, we already know that. The height is 13 feet, so we're gonna plug in the height. Another multiplication sign there. And so now, at this point, to answer this question, the question was, how many cubic inches of helium would she need to fill the balloon? Well, now we can figure it out, because we know pi, 3.14. We know the radius of this balloon is 4, and we know the height of this balloon is 13 feet. And then we know all, the one thing you really want to do, here's a little nugget. Make sure that the measurements are always the same, because sometimes on the GED test, they're going to give you your information in inches, but ask the answer in feet. Hmm, think about that. They're gonna give you their information in inches and ask in feet. And so you have to be very careful to make sure that we have feet uh, diameter and we have feet height of the balloon, it's the same. Sometimes it might be a little bit tricky with you to see if you're paying attention, so keep your eye on that too. So now we all we do is simply do this math. 3.14 times four squared times 13, and I've already done the math just so I could move through this video quickly. Uh, that's gonna give us 653.12, 653.12 cubic feet of helium is what it would take to fill this balloon. Again, this is Damon Tennant with the Get Your GED Now Test Preparation Series. You have just now received your free GED mini lesson of the week. Thank you.